Hi friends, how are you today? As you know, I love books, I love good stories, and I love sharing them with you. And I have another Valentine's Day story today to share with you. This one's called Roses Are Pink, Your Feet Really Stink. And it's written and illustrated by Diane DeGrout, and it's a really good one, so I hope you like it as much as I do. Okay, let's get started. And in the beginning of the book, the author has a note that says, Violets are blue, roses are red. To children's librarians, nuff said. And I wholeheartedly agree, children's librarians are awesome. And they have great book recommendations too. Okay, let's get started. There they were, 15 blank Valentine cards waiting to be filled with nice Valentine poems. They were sitting on the kitchen table in a pile as high as Gilbert's nose. Mrs. Bird had told them to write something nice for each classmate because Valentine's Day was about liking each other. Gilbert liked Patty a lot. She had smiley eyes and a silly laugh that made Gilbert feel silly too. He picked out the biggest card and wrote inside, Roses are red, violets are blue. Your eyes are nice, and I like you, Gilbert. Gilbert also liked Frank. Frank let Gilbert use his baseball mitt once when Gilbert forgot his, to bring his own. On Frank's card, he wrote, Your name is Frank. It isn't Hank. You lent me your mitt, and so you I thank, Gilbert. This is fun, Gilbert thought. He continued to write nice Valentine poems until there were two cards left, one for Lewis and one for Margaret. Gilbert didn't want to write a nice poem for Lewis. Lewis once tweaked Gilbert's nose until it turned red. He didn't want to write a nice poem for Margaret either. Margaret made fun of Gilbert's glasses. So he didn't write nice poems. On Lewis's card, he wrote, violets are blue, roses are pink. Your feet are big and they really stink. Gilbert thought the poem was funny, but maybe Lewis wouldn't. Maybe he would tweak Gilbert's nose when he read it Gilbert didn't want Lewis to tweak his nose again, so he didn't sign his name. He signed it Margaret. On Margaret's card, he wrote, Roses are red, you wet your bed. I think that you have rocks in your head. Gilbert liked the poem, but he didn't think Margaret would. He didn't want Margaret to say mean things to him again, so he signed the card, Lewis. Oh. On Valentine's Day, Gilbert walked to school with 15 cards and a tin of Valentine cookies that his mother had baked for the party. Mrs. Bird let everyone open their cards. One of Gilbert's cards had X's all over the envelope, so he opened it first. It said, Roses are red, violets are blue. You are my friend and I like you. It was signed, Patty. Gilbert smiled at Patty and Patty giggled back. Gilbert opened the rest of his cards. They were all very friendly. Even Lewis had written a poem for him. You may be small, you're not very tall, but I like the way that you play ball, Lewis. Gilbert was happy that Lewis liked the way he played ball. And Margaret wrote, sometimes you are very sweet. I hope you brought nice cookies to eat. Love, Margaret. Gilbert smiled to himself. Margaret thought that he was very sweet. He looked over at Margaret. She wasn't happy with one of her Valentines. She stuck her tongue out at Lewis. Lewis wasn't happy with one of his Valentines either. 
He stuck his tongue out at Margaret. Margaret pushed Lewis. Lewis called Margaret a bad name. Mrs. Bird said, quiet, please. Valentine's Day is about liking each other, not about fighting. She made the class do workbooks for the rest of the morning. Everyone was mad with Lewis and Margaret, even Gilbert. When it was reading time, Margaret looked through all of her Valentines again and said, I have two Valentines from Lewis, a good one and a bad one. Lewis said, I didn't write a bad one. Someone else wrote my name. He looked through his own pile of cards and said, I have two Valentines from Margaret and none from Gilbert. Then he shouted, oh no, Gilbert wrote the bad cards and signed our names. And Mrs. Bird said, quiet, please. At lunch, nobody wanted to sit near Gilbert, not even Patty. He had to sit all by himself. When he peeked over his carrot and banana sandwich, he could see Patty and Lewis giggling at their table. Gilbert wondered if Lewis thought Patty had smiley eyes and a silly laugh. He saw Margaret eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich like she did every day. Gilbert liked peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and wished he was eating one too. At recess, nobody played with Gilbert and Gilbert was very sorry that he had written two mean and nasty valentines. When they were all lined up to go inside, Patty finally asked, why did you say bad things about your friends, Gilbert? Because Lois tweaked my nose, Gilbert said, and Margaret made fun of my glasses. Lewis said, I'm sorry I tweaked your nose, Gilbert. You can tweak mine if you want. Gilbert gave Lewis's nose a little tweak, but it didn't turn red. And Margaret said, I'm sorry I made fun of your glasses, Gilbert. I will wear them for the rest of the day. She put on Gilbert's glasses, but she couldn't see anything and Gilbert couldn't see anything, so she gave them back. In art class, Gilbert made two new Valentines out of red paper and lace. During spelling, Gilbert wrote a new poem for Lewis. Violets are blue, roses are pink. I'm sorry I said your feet really stink. Then Gilbert thought of something nice about Margaret. He liked the way that she always smelled like peanut butter and jelly. So he wrote a new poem for her. Roses are red, jelly is sweet. You smell as good as the sandwich you eat. Then in math, Gilbert figured out that the, he had 364 days before he would have to write any more Valentines. Finally, it was time for the party. Gilbert gave the new cards to Lewis and Margaret, and he passed out the cookies that his mother had baked. And each cookie said, Happy Valentine's Day. And that is the story, Roses Are Pink, Your Feet Really Stink. And I think it's a good reminder about how important our words are and what we say to other people, isn't it? So I hope you're having a great day, friends, and I hope to see you soon. Take care, bye now.